Hey you guys, it's your girl Miss Chris and you see my weave is out right now. Oh my god you guys, I thought y'all never would see my real hair. <laughs> I'm doing this video because I wanted to show you guys my hair right now as we speak. I just took down my 3 4 wig. Um, not permanently, this is honestly just a temporary thing because I typically like to wash my hair as often as possible and with my hair installs being like 3 4 wigs right now because I really like that the convenience of it all, I'm able to wash my hair as you know readily as I see fit and it's really really convenient for me. I'll tell you a little bit about my hair, it is 100% natural. My hair in the front is, it's blow drying, it's blow dried straight. Um, I use it on a, a low heating setting, but all of the hair, like from here, yeah, it's a couple more strands in there, but like a lot of my hair is um, kind of forced to be straight because I do a lot of flat ironing on my hair with my leave out and stuff, so that's just a result of, I guess, heat damage. So um, my next, my natural texture is not as you know thick in the front as it is here in the back so that's why I showed you guys those pictures so you can see my hair and how it looks um, at least naturally in the back but I just want to go really quickly uh, on the products that I'm currently using or I have been using for a little while um, that help me both clean and moisturize my natural hair um, stimulating you know you know some kind of health and vitality or whatever what have you <laughs> on my natural hair and it just really works well for me. I wash my hair. Um, I just tried this out. Um, this is probably my second week in trying this out, but I am washing my hair using the Daily Moisture Shampoo from Dove. I also have the Daily Moisture Conditioner that I definitely um, use as well. What I typically do is I wash my hair very vigorously one time using this shampoo and then the second and third time that I wash my hair all in the same setting, I can pint. I combine an equal amount of this and the conditioner in my hair so it kind of still gives it a co-wash shampoo kind of feel especially since I'm only washing it once a week I want to make sure that it gets really really clean I don't really rely on co-washes you know um, after my hair has kind of been sitting with products and build up for an extended amount of time. Um, I let it, I detangle it and let it air dry for a decent amount of time and then I use my um, Afrogy Pro Vitamin Leave In Conditioner. Um, put it all over my hair and I run through it with this wide tube comb. Sorry, it may have a little hair still in there. Um, detangle my hair with that and then I allow it to air dry, getting moist, most of the moisture out um, because I do, you know, use a heated blow dryer to blow dry the rest of the moisture out. So I try to use um, the heated products as little as possible and for a smaller, as small amount of time as possible. Um, right before I add the, right before I blow dry my hair though, I use a combination of this Garnier, Garnier Fructis. Um, it's the nutrient spray, it's a dual action, it both nourishes and shines your hair. So I kind of spray it all over my hair, comb it through, and I also have a little bit of this Brazilian Carotene Therapy, and it's a clear serum. I'm going to show you how it looks because I'm going to add a little bit to my hair now anyway. And I kind of mix that in my hair together, along with just a small spray like a really light spray of heat protectant and then I go through my hair and blow dry it and, and that is that now after all that is done onto my hair you guys I you know get it prepared for my next install however I want to you know wear my hair style if I want to do the part down the middle or the part on the side um, you know take out my section of leave out braid um, the rest of my hair and get to weaving you know that's pretty much my routine um, now about my hair my hair has been natural for the last ten and a half I want to say 11 months I even want to say a year but I honestly have not been really keeping track I'm really bad with that um, but I have not had a relaxer in close to a year and um, in between my installations what I would typically do is I will cut off anywhere between one and a half to two inches of relaxed hair little by little I didn't do the big chop 
you know I wasn't too scared because I've had my hair really short before I just didn't want to do that um, so if I didn't cut any of my hair you guys including my relaxed hair I would be well right here with the length like I would cut a lot of hair out every time I take down um, a relaxer or every time I would take down a weave install so that was my routine um, a month ago I just decided to take off the last little inch of inch and a half of um, relaxer hair or relaxed hair off my edges and just let go and let God on it and my hair has never felt thicker healthier or better even with this hair that just won't seem to kink back up it feels extremely strong extremely lively i love the way my hair feels now that i have you know just been pretty focused on you know keeping it clean moisturized and chemical free um, I'm not here to kind of convert anybody. I've seen plenty of divas on here that maintain really healthy, beautiful, lustrous hair still with chemicals and relaxers, and that's totally fine. But my motivation behind me wanting to go natural was my little daughter looks up to me, like, and I look to her. She's my angel. And I want her, you know, if anybody has little girls, you already know that at certain points, peaks of their growing life they have curiosities about certain things and they have insecurities about certain things and you know about a year ago um, I, I was shopping for some toys for her dolls learning games and all that and she just had this you know thing with getting dolls with really straight hair or wanting dolls that were that didn't look like her were not you know brown like her and um, she and she was like, well, my mommy's brown, my, my mommy's beautiful, I'm brown, I'm beautiful, my nana's brown, she's beautiful. But when she looked to getting certain dolls, like baby dolls, she wanted to get like the dolls that don't necessarily look like her. Um, and I wanted to just encourage her you to, you know, be happy with how, just the way you are, like all the beautiful um, things about you from your hair to your face, to your body, to your your brain, you know, like everything about you is beautiful and unique and I want you to embrace it. So, um, you know, I was just really determined into like instilling that and it's just something as simple as like picking out certain dolls because at that point she was three so she couldn't really articulate uh, what was going on in her mind so I had to kind of pick up from that thing, pick up from those things. So ever since then um, I made it a point for her to, you know, you know, I would wash her hair, let her do like wash and go crazy curly styles and, and she just fell in love with her hair all over again. And I was sitting back thinking like, why am I telling her to fall in love with how beautiful your hair is, the texture of your hair, and I'm steady like putting relaxers in my hair to make my hair straight. So I decided, you know what, uh, I'm going, you know, she's going to see mommy's hair too. like. You know, like I said, I'm a weave queen. I love weave, you know, I love the different types of textures and colors and stuff and a variety you can get with weave. So I'm not going to stop wearing weave, <laughs> but I wanted my daughter to see that mommy's hair is just as beautiful as hers is. And you could, you know, just embrace, you know, who you are in all facets of, you know, in all in all facets so that was like it's kind of cheesy but that's the reason that was the reason why I decided to just leave my hair long with the chemicals trying to make it straight not just make it straight but just like try to hide the natural kinks and not only trying to hide the natural kinks but to hide the natural kinks in my hair at the expense of of the health of my hair. I didn't want to do it if it meant that I'm going to damage my natural hair or I don't even have the option of really confidently wearing my natural hair whenever I see fit. Like I always want to have the option of doing all kinds of styles and still have that option of wearing my natural hair as freely as I want to wear it. So that's the reason why I decided to go natural. I know I'm really really um, tall you know and then there was the inspiration of the like influx of beautiful natural sisters here on YouTube here on the web and here in my city that I see that just made me love it even more I was just like oh, our hair is really beautiful not that I never knew that I always told my daughter that but our hair is really beautiful it's thick it has all kinds of textures it's super strong like 
show how strong my natural hair is it's so strong that it can take on literally any texture that i want and it can go back to the natural texture with you know no recourse if you take care of it so um that's i mean this is something that i want to add to my channel i am slowly but surely getting a lot more knowledge on natural hair and embracing my natural hair again you guys i want to say it a thousand times i'm going to still wear my weave because you know i'm just a chameleon like that i like to just wear different styles or whatever but i wanted you guys to see that you know this is how my hair looks you know you got a little caught on my fingers but this is how my hair looks and i'm going to also you know adopt natural hairstyles on my channel um and in my life so that you know just to show the variety of hairstyles that you can get with all types of hair so um yeah i hope you guys you know rock with me on this journey the kids are playing my nephew and my daughter are actually playing out there like rough housing so i have to go really really fast I just want to do this quick video so that you guys can just get up to date with my hair. Um, the next video that you probably will see is me actually installing my 3 4 wig. Now that it's nice and prepared for me to braid it back down and protect it once again. Um, if you guys have any advice on um, just natural hair maintenance, how to promote um, healthy hair growth, um, how to maintain hair with two textures, Honestly, you know, the, it's not that bad of a texture, but obviously when I, you know, blow dry it straight and when I flat iron it straight, this gets straighter than the hair in the back because I um, put so much heat on it, you know, with the leave out. I am going to actually try to, with my weaving here on out, like when I invest in, in getting these kind of pieces, I'm going to do more um, silk-based closures or, you know, it's, it's like the little lace frame. You know, I'm kind of scared of lace fronts, you guys, because sometimes it be looking a little bit too thick for the guys. It looks too thick for the guys. And I know my hairline is not really thin. So, like, naturally, I have a big hairline. Oh, with the exception over here. Um, but naturally, I have a thick hairline. But I'm just, like, really scared of lace fronts. So, um, anyway, check out Bisa Nation. Check her out and check out her video talking about her wigs and how she makes her weaves. I think I'm going to jump on her bandwagon and start doing that with my weave installs so that I can have none of my hair out um, and none of my hair will suffer from heat da damage if I need to kind of use hot tools to kind of blend it in. Um, but that's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video, learn a little bit about the products that I'm using or have been using for a while. Um, learn a little bit more about your girl's naked hair, you know, hair all free of accessories and extensions and weaves. And um, I hope that you guys, you know, enjoy this journey with me. Whatever you guys could suggest that could be like helpful tips for me along with any other viewers of this video would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead and leave it at the bottom of this video. And yeah, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, divas.